It's Monday night. Welcome to LiveCast, everyone. I'm Sam Zion, and we got a lot of stuff to cover tonight. A lot of stuff. How is everybody? We'll start right there. Boys? We're doing very good. Everybody's good? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Glad it's been to a good be weekend, here. everybody. Kind of a long weekend for us. Mm-hmm. I took, uh, we took Thursday night off. I was at the, uh, the grocery outlet event. A lot of fun. Mm-hmm. A lot of fun. A lot of people came up. A lot of people enjoyed the live cast. It was just a great night. I saw somebody ask on Facebook um, if we still do cl- shows on Thursdays. Yes, we do. Yes, we, we do. I, and I'm sorry. Thursdays I'm sorry. Had. There's been, there's been events and mm-hmm. uh, there's going to be another one coming up in October. Mm-hmm. I think for, for organizations, charity organizations and stuff, I mean, not this past Thursday, but... A lot of them book Thursday nights to hold their yearly, their annual uh, fundraising, whatever mm-hmm. events, because they can get a, a venue cheaper on a Thursday than they can mm-hmm. Saturday, Friday, that kind of stuff. Got so, it. Yeah. By the way, connect with us, facebook.com slash Sam the Cooking Guy. We are all here and waiting for your questions you, and answers. You can follow along on Facebook. You can ask questions. We'll answer the questions. Mm-hmm. This Actually, girl, this girl right here. What girl? Wait. I should point that way. Which way, do, which <laughs> yeah, way does that it look like? Work. That one, that one there, Kelly. Uh-huh. Yeah. There you go. There That's Kelly right there. Kelly is reading the Facebook right now. Mm-hmm. I am. Facebook. And trying to uh, trying to decide. We just decide got one. What... Bill says a question that yeah. just occurred to me. Why is the Sam logo on the table a lazy Susan? Was there supposed to be some need to rotate things? Oh. Um, no, you know. For you. Go ahead, Max. No, I I don't. No, that thing was there before we uh, we didn't buy this, that for this. Right. This, this is going to this be is perfect fit. This is yeah. going to piss, piss Max off, but because oh. he takes so much time getting this right, I don't know if you can see. You probably won't be Shannon. Can you yeah. get on that? It's a little. Glare. So this is a. Oh, it's a lot. Yeah. Glare. Here, look. <laughs> there you go. It's a barrel top. It says uh, it's backwards oh. in the camera. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> it says red. Sorry, sorry. It's sorry, backwards sorry. in the camera. <laughs> So no. look, <laughs> the Red, Red Kitchen, kitchen oh, established cool. 2001. Some very good friends oh, of ours. Cool. This is a barrel, a wine barrel top that they had made into a Lazy Susan. And we've always had it on the table. So when we decided to do the, uh, the live cast and the whole thing, um, we came up with the logo first, right? Mm-hmm. And then somebody, Max, said, you know what we should have? We should have the logo right there in front. Because it's not like we're in a studio where you can have it behind. Mm-hmm. The logical spot was in front. I didn't even think about that. We had that thing made. It's perfect. Yeah. And we got another one right back there, too. You guys have one, right? That right, we right. haven't touched. Right. But look, we got a lot to do tonight. Here's what we have to cover tonight. Um, we're going to get to the box uh, in about uh, one minute, maybe two minutes. I'm going to talk about the, uh, the Chili Peppers concert that Kelly and I went to last night. We haven't been into a concert in a while. Something happened there. I said to Max, mom says we almost got rolled at the Chili Peppers concert last night. And Max goes, what does that mean? Obviously, it's an old school expression. We'll talk about that. I don't know what it means. Uh, I did something Friday night. I believe I was roofied. Well, <laughs> that it wasn't. Big, I don't, old, sorry. big weekend. I don't believe. I mean, uh, it, Kelly uh, and a few other people came to that conclusion after the fact. We'll talk about why. I saw you um, firsthand. I'm making something great tonight. Uh, but, and then we have to talk about the, uh, the Sam Livecast cooking competition because Wednesday night we have our last two contestants, Beth mm-hmm. from San Diego and Don from Sacramento. And if you are not from California and you don't know where San Diego and Sacramento are on the ge- geographical plane, you got to fly here from Sacramento. You, you, could, you could drive. How long a drive is it? It's I'd say. My sister, my sister lives there. It's like seven and a half, eight hours. Seven and a half. Oh. Dawn is coming down. Wait. In a, flying down. Wait. Wait. Isn't Wait. Sacramento north of San Francisco? No, it's east of it. Oh, okay. Same yeah. It's dry. Oh, okay. There's no water. Got it. It is our, it is our uh, state's capital, though. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there was something else we have to talk about. And I'm making something bad, uh, I hope badass tonight. I'm not really sure. I've never made it before, but we're about to find out. I'm making something bad. <laughs> Can I just say this first? Anybody watch Revolution last week? No. 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 Is it good? J.J. Abrams? In Man. the middle of it, I Twittered. Tweeted. I don't know. What? Tweeted. 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 <laughs> what did I say? You Twittered. 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 Fuck, I'm my father. A novice. No, I am my father. It's happening right before my eyes. <laughs> my father would F up expressions he didn't call it a beamer he called it a bimmy and we'd all snicker (laughs) 
he wouldn't call them Nikes. He would call them Nikes. <laughs> and we always made fun of my dad for fucking up what he said. Love my Nikes. And now look, I have become my father. <laughs> the same forehead i didn't powder tonight shit uh oh that's cool oh You're okay. no you okay you want to get your bad. wife there get off that shot yeah uh, uh-huh. okay here we go but first we have to do this this what came this this came us oh what did i twitter what did you tweet oh, i didn't even finish that <laughs> no i tweeted oh wait what was i talking about revolution i twitted no <laughs> I, I, tweet, I tweeted no you are a twit but <laughs> you're supposed to tweet i tweeted <laughs> Watching Revolution. Don't know if it's cool or it's stupid. Turned out, I believe it's stupid. <laughs> really? I thought it was awful by uh-huh. the end of it. Anybody have an opinion about that? I think Nobody watched it? I didn't watch No. Ugh. Nope. Didn't watch it. John Erickson likes it. He's waiting for number two tonight. Really? Yep. Hey, before just, we... Uh, yeah. Sorry. Before we get into the, the nitty-gritty of the live cast, I just want yeah. to remind everybody that we have our very own Roku channel now. Yes. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. For those that didn't see on Facebook, uh, it's up and running, so it's free. Get in there. Get it. It's got the last 30 Ex- episodes. Explain Roku first. Um, yeah. It's a... It's a Online, it's, ba- it's basically the other <laughs> Apple TV. Yeah, like, like, explain it, and then well, he was he was stammering a little. No, bit. exactly, it's the <laughs> other Apple TV. Put it Am this right? way, that's going to be one less argument we're having in the house. So you guys can see our big mugs right on your big screen. So here's what it lets you do: it lets you sit in the in the uh, comfort of your big easy chairs mm-hmm. and your sofas, mm-hmm. and watch us up on your TV, wherever your TV is, not on the the computer TV, up big. Uh, you can't watch it live on there, but they will put up, they'll keep the last 25, 30 episodes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wait, I got, uh, I felt Speaking like I got an email. Speaking of about that. in the comfort of his own home. Mm. Yes. We have a guest. Oh, Jilly. Is that what you mean? <laughs> what? Jilly? Jilly too. Oh, Jilly. How about how about your Skype guest? Our Skype guest. Okay, so here's what it is. So look, I got this. I got this. Um, by the way, my knife. Mm-hmm. I used to own this knife. It comes from. Uh, I bought this at Mitsua, and uh, it's a Japanese supermarket here. You, you could show the knife. There oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> I was do you mind me on tell- Kyle. I get Kyle that. ready. Mi- I, we're Jeez. coming there. Do you mind me? Uh, there oh, you go. that's really cool. It's a cool knife. It's called a picnic knife, or I call it a picnic knife because it has this little sheath mm-hmm. that lets you <laughs> protect anything. You can put it in a bag, and you're not going to stab yourself on it. Though this wooden end is pretty Yeah, it looks sharp, like a pretty there's serious a knife. knife. There's a knife underneath. It's mm. great, right? Yeah. Oh. Anyway, okay. On to this. There's nothing better than opening up a package. On to bigger and better things. So I got this a week ago. Uh, I was going to do it last Monday, and something came up, and then, and then we are going to do it Wednesday, and I didn't want to do it Wednesday because, because it was uh, the, the competition. And we have to comp- talk about the competition controversy tonight, too. But now I want to talk about this. Okay, so on the line with us, on our Skype line. About from, to be. From New York. Oh, about to be? Mm-hmm. Well, so let me then let me take this out. Hold on. Let me just get it fully out of its crate, out of its cardboard box. box. Oh, cool! Ladies and gentlemen, we have. Are you ready for this? Yes. Let's Boom. see it. The, the man, man tree. tree. The modern the man's tree. pantry. Lynn didn't know, and he guessed that it was going to be a man's pantry, and it's a great. It's an excellent guess, of course, Lynn. <laughs> but I didn't want Lynn to know what was inside the man tree, because I like surprises. You do like surprises. Actually, nobody knows what's in here except I, me. I really dig the packaging, though. That's great. It's, it's badass, Isn't right? Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? That's okay, great. so here, so here, here's what this is. I mean, do you have, do you have Kyle up? You know yeah, what? We're, Kyle's voice we're up. having trouble. We need his camera up, though, so okay. we're going to get there. Okay, so let me tell you what this is. You've heard of Beer of the Month Club. You've heard of a Bacon of the Month Club. They make all those things. This is the man tree, and it is not necessarily of the month, but it can be. You can buy one month. You can buy 12 months, but what comes is a incredibly interesting, incredibly useful selection of things that if you had them in your pantry, you'd be like this. Fuck, I'm a badass. Look what I can make. (laughs) There are things that will let you do stuff without having to do a whole lot of work. We're going to find out what they are. So let's open the R Mantry while we're waiting to get Kyle, the founder, the co-founder. Oh, there's nails. (laughs) <laughs> okay, danger right here, ladies and gentlemen. 
We've encountered danger. Here's what comes inside it. Oh, she's cute too. This would be the, if I'm not mistaken, this would be the man Yule. The guide. Oh, the man Yule. Get it? I think they call it Did the manual. Did you just put that up? Well, no, I think that's, that's what they call it. They call it the manual. They got to put that on who the front. Who is she? And she's cute. I don't know who she is, but we like her. Uh huh. If we can get Kyle on here, we'll find out uh, her name. You know, technical difficulties. Okay, but, but here's here's what here's what's in the mantry. Uh, well, let's pull the things out. We'll find out. So look at. Would you like to say hi to Kyle? I'd like to say hi to Kyle. Say hello to cousin Kyle. Hey here Kyle, he there he is. Uh, oh, <laughs> look at you. He's a good man. Oh, I'm sorry. You guys caught me reading my favorite book. I apologize. Yeah, you're funny. You know what I said to him? Uh, we we. We practiced a Skype call earlier, and I said, damn it, man, you've got that good Zion hair that I did not get. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my nephew from uh, New York, New York, Kyle Zion. How are you, my, uh, my uh, favorite, almost favorite nephew? They're all my favorite nephews. I'm good. How are you? Thanks I'm, for having me on the show. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks. Look, dude, I'm really excited. Uh, a while ago, we started New Product Mondays, and the idea is we would have something, whether we found it and we found some neat stuff, or whether people sent some stuff in. We would do it when we had it. This came along at the perfect time. Really the perfect time for, for you because you're, you're launching the product, and I mean for people because the holidays are coming up, I think it's genius for that, but I think it's genius for so many other things. What do you give somebody when you don't know what to give them? And I think the mantra is gonna answer a lot of people's questions. But let me turn to you for a second, let you tell us what the mantra is. Go ahead. Sure, and I just want to let you guys know as well, if you're wondering this strange backdrop here, we had to leave the office because it's late here, so we thought coming from the house it would be boring with the kitchen in the back, so we actually made a mantra. These are mantra boxes that you stack up and you kind of make into a mantra, and these are other mantra products that we would you know, put in mantras, and you can see them all behind me in the backdrop. But okay. I just wanted to explain the weird backdrop so everyone kind of got what that was all about. Just, just let me say, the kitchen that was there before, in only a few mere minutes, you've made it so fucking cool. Yeah, that was brilliant. That's that was nice. brilliant. That's, that's actually yeah. really nice. That yeah. went pretty good. Hey? It was actually my business partner, Reggie, sitting over there, and he did most of the work. So Okay, well, now put his face in the camera so we can at least see him. Because you're see, both right? two good-looking guys that now I want to have tell me the things that I need to have in my pantry. Well, exactly. I, mean, I, I was demoted to set designer tonight. You're set designer? <laughs> that's cool. I'm off-screen talent, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so go ahead. Tell me what's going on here, man. Okay, so Mantry, we, something we started about six months ago. The whole idea behind it was food media, guys kind of going at that angle, and, you know, the GQ top 10 list, you, top 10 hot sauces every guy should try, top five micro brews in America everyone should try. And we kind of just mauled back and forth, you know, about food and food media and guys and those types of things. And we thought, you know, it might be cool to take those products because guys read about them all the time. They never actually try them because you got to order them and they're shipping and it's a pain in the ass and you're busy and you got a date or you got work or whatever it is. So we thought we would curate that process, choose, you know, four, five, six, seven of the coolest food and beverage products around the world, you know, that are kind of craft or you never heard of them or they're small batch or that kind of take and put them in a box and send them to your door. And so, so we kind of, sorry, go. And so the deal is once a month, something will come. This, I don't see a particular theme to this month, but do, will you theme them? There is a bit of a theme to this month, actually. All right. The, the title of this month is Born in the USA. And oh. As, it was our inaugural US month, and the idea behind it was we wanted to showcase what we thought were six of the coolest made in America small batch food and beverage products. Right, if I'd read the uh, manual properly, I would have figured out that there was an actual effing theme to this. I'm a tool, but but look, so I want to unwrap these and, and show some of these things. So let me do one at a time. You can give us just a quick overview, right? Sure. So I'm I'm wrapping the the half pots, and what are right. these? I got half pops out right now. Tell me what they are. Have you tasted them yet? No. Should I? Well, oh, I, I know, yeah, love I them. Okay, they say natural butter and pure ocean sea salt, the crunchy heart of popcorn. What does this mean? Well, here's what they are, okay? They're, it's literally, Ouch. you don't get a, a popcorn bowl going over a movie and you get to the bottom and you got those kind of semi-popped, half-popped, literally. Yes. Popcorn kernels that are crunchy, but they're not going to get stuck in your teeth. 
This guy, Mike Fitzgerald, he's a founder of Half Pops. It also says it's the manual. It's kind of cool. He was a former race car driver, Hall of Famer in the U.S. I've heard and of these. He's made this Half Pop popcorn. It's actually incredibly good. It's a great snack. It's original, obviously. Well, wow, we're, we're looking at them right now, and they look. And wait to hear this sound. Mmm. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Oh, Kelly's coming over. Now, uh, we like to say, as you read in the manual, that Mike Fitzgerald, the founder of Half Pops, has called out Orville Redenbacher for overcooking his popcorn. Oh, oh. You, i got to tell you something. This makes popcorn very old school okay, and I'm not go necessary anymore. Yeah, got me some too. <laughs> no, Lynn, Lynn, is, Lynn is coming in here to take some of these. All right, let me go to the next one. All right, go. I mean, we can't do this all night. I've got uh, Blue Ox Original Recipe Smoked Beef Jerky, yes? Mm. Yes. Just a great, high-quality beef jerky from Detroit, Michigan. And it's just one of those things where everyone's used to kind of a gas station jerky. You get a really premium meat jerky in there. That's a smoked beef original. Yeah. And he's got a number of flavors. And as a mandatory member, you get really exclusive promo codes to taste sampler packs and those other flavors. You can get venison. You can get buffalo. You can get all sorts of stuff from this guy, but it's great product. All right, I've got Sir Kensington's ketchup. You're sending me ketchup? Yep. The ketchup's a good one because everyone eats the same ketchup. And Sir Kensington's ketchup is out of Brooklyn. They're a gourmet, all-natural scooping ketchup. They got the original flavor there, which you have, and they got the spice flavor. And it's just an, it's, it's a way better version of Heinz is what it is. Did you, did you call it a scooping ketchup? That's actually, Sir Kensington calls it a scooping ketchup. And Sir Kensington being their guy on the, on the label. See? He's, he's on the label. Oh, Kyle, that is not ketchup. I just tasted that. What is that it? That is way beyond. That's, <laughs> that's, like, that's like a, it's, it's become like a sauce. Let me see what's in this. Now, and, there, and wait, and there's 50% less sugar and 45% less sodium. Yeah. Lime juice, onion, honey, olive oil, green pepper. Green bell pepper. Oh my God. And agave nectar. All right. Okay. Hold on. We got three more left. Sure. Let me ask you this while I open this next one. Tell me themes that you have coming up that we might be looking forward to. Okay, cool. We got two new exciting ones we want to tell you guys about coming up. Uh, one is 1800s theme, which is literally every product in the box will be a food or beverage product that has been made since the 1800s and is still being made today. And some of them are very hard to find. They're in specialty shops, but it'll be an 1800s box. October's box this month coming up is a really cool one. It's called Bourbon Breakfast. Come so on. You can use your imagination. It's a mixture of bourbon products and breakfast all kind of coming together. We won't tell you what the products are right now. But no, but I like that. But, I, but I, I also know that you can't send alcohol through the mill like this, but they're all bourbon-centric uh, yeah. products. Like, yeah, like I can, I can tell you there's a really cool, you know, there's bourbon barrel aged products. So if right. you can use your imagination and think about the cool products for breakfast that would be aged in a bourbon barrel. And then we've got some products that are just strictly breakfast related that complement really well. So it'll be a great opportunity for a guy and his girlfriend or his wife or his fiance to have a nice breakfast. In the, in the okay, place. I just pulled out uh, Stone Ground White Chocolate. Yes, what flavor do you have there? Uh, olive oil. Oh, Buttermilk White. Buttermilk white. How do you like it? Did you I, I know it? I haven't opened it yet. I, I, I should do that. I'll be honest. Okay, well, I'm, not, I'm not a huge chocolate fan. Yeah, I'm not really either, to be honest with you. But so this, but this is a cool story. This is from Nashville. It's from a Bean to Bar Stone Ground chocolate maker in Nashville. He does everything by hand. So it's as high quality as you get. And he can only produce so many. So, I mean, I, you know, to have this and not be in Tennessee is rare because he doesn't sell it really in that right. many places outside of there. So it's a cool product to try and give you a good taste of really high quality chocolate. Okay, I'll tell you this right now. <laughs> I hate white chocolate. I'm glad I'm not, <laughs> Look, I'm not a huge chocolate fan, but of all the chocolates, I hate white chocolate the most, then milk chocolate, and dark chocolate I quite like. There's something going on in here. There's a little citrus or... I don't know what it is. This is really good. Because that would be the buttermilk. <laughs> oh, it's the buttermilk. It's the tang it's the from that. <laughs> yeah, Lynn is the foodie in the group. Okay, hold on. Wait, I got two more. Two more, and then right. we're and then we're uh, good. Um, this I got a little bottle of Clancy's Fancy's hot sauce. Really? Yeah. And it's like a little chemistry bottle. 
It does, right? It yeah. looks like a little cannabis bottle. It's a little place, Ann Arbor, Michigan. They've been making that stuff since the 70s. They, Like I said before with the chocolate, they don't make a lot of this product every month. They make a very limited amount, so getting your hands on some is hard to begin with. So it's a really cool way to taste it, all natural, really authentic, well-made, kind of handcrafted uh, hot sauce. And change it up a little bit from Frank's Red Hot, right? Because that's what everyone, and Shratch, I guess, but change it up a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so here's what you have to do. Uh, number one, you have to you have to send us a, one, a box once a month, so we'll <laughs> we'll pimp it for you here because you are family. But more important than that, this shit is so cool. Yeah, it's this great. Is just a very good idea that I wish I'd had. It's At, funny. We, we were talking just very briefly. You don't even realize how many even as foodies. I mean, I'm a huge foodie. My co-founder and partner, Reggie, used to work at the French Laundry. He's a professional trained chef. And wow. we just discovered so many products that we had no idea even existed. So it's just, just that process and that curation is cool. Right. Um, you know, like the, you're right. The food thing has really just like blown up over the past few years. Yeah. But people don't know where to go for a lot of like uber cool or, stuff. Or more importantly, as a guy, even if you know where to go, you probably won't go there. Yeah. And secondly, I think, at least for me, you know, guys like to buy what they know they like. It's very hard to reach out and try something in the grocery store if you've never tasted it. You're going to go with the safe thing. But if you don't have a choice and it just shows up to your door, you're then forced to taste things that you may have not thought you would have liked, like that buttermilk white chocolate. You'd which be you the, would spend a million years of bought in a grocery store. You would be the coolest guy on the planet if you gave like your boss a birthday gift of one of these. Oh, yeah. Right? Mm. Think about it. Okay, the last thing I pulled out, and this is the thing that I'm going to use tonight, uh, and I was wishing it was a bigger bottle because I might end up using most of it. I'm using uh, the Stu's uh, Bloody Mary mix. Oh, okay, Again, great. in another chemistry bottle looking thing, which I think is pretty <laughs> cool. Trends. These are the craft paper that's light brown paper, cool little science bottles. This is all the hipster trendy food stuff, right? Right. So it just makes stuff seem cooler. But I will tell you, Stu's got a great story. We love Stu. He's a guy named Stu Waters. He's got a partner named Rudy. Stu is an award-winning pickle maker out of Chicago. He's won the national award a couple of times. He used to work at a restaurant in Chicago called Alinea as a trained chef. Which right. I think oh, was this the Lynn, the Lynn yeah. just uh, fainted a little bit in there. <laughs> <laughs> He's already He's mentioned a very the French big Laundry fan. and Alinea in the same phone call. I'm, I'm a fan. Exactly. Well, Rudy, my partner, as I said, he used to work at the French Laundry. But So Stu, he didn't know what to do with his leftover pickle juice. So he thought, I'm going to season this stuff up, and I'm going to Holy make a Bloody Mary. shit. So it is his authentic award-winning pickle juice that's mixed with his own seasoning concoction. It comes mm. in that bottle. And obviously, you just you pour the vodka in, you pour the tomato or clamato. I mean, it's meant for Bloody Marys. But, right. And then you throw the seasoning in. You throw an ounce of the seasoning in. It says here right on the back, add two ounces of mix uh, plus vodka to a pint of tomato juice. Uh, this stuff is stupid good. Wow. And you totally okay. get the pickle juice off of this, but you're getting a really beautiful blend of seasonings and stuff. So here's the thing. I'm, tonight, I decided I was going to make chipino, just a really lovely kind of fish stew. Uh, but my flavoring base is gonna be, was going to be the Bloody Mary mix. So it's now going to be Stu's Bloody Mary mix. And I've never made chipino before, but now I'm looking forward to it even more because I have something this fantastic to go into it mm, digging that That's all right cool. i never thought of that that's cool i love that yeah so okay so tell us what people need to do how do they get this do taco how much is it do you want to say uh it's right now yeah it's 48 dollars a month wow Come that's on. awesome wow. that's awesome that's yeah yeah hey. 48 bucks and somebody's exactly. gone out and we're doing something really cool the holiday season we're gonna have some premium christmas boxes out and those are going to be a bit different in price, but you're not going to have to become an ongoing member. You can just do it as a one-time gift. Right. So if you're, you know, a girl or a woman looking for a gift for your husband or your brother, or your boyfriend, you never know what to buy them. You don't want to buy them another shirt, another scarf. Mm -hmm. Right. Food. It's one of those cool things that you can give, and it's it's a really it's like that, but even more premium and a little bit more obviously over the top. For Christmas. Mm -hmm. Right. 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 Okay. So they go to the the themantree.com. They sign so up. Well, you can go to either or, but we mantry.com. Oh, just mantry. Yeah. My bad. Because yeah. I'm Sam, the cooking guy, I put the in front of everything. <laughs> we call it the Facebook because we think that's what it should be called. Exactly. Well, we were the mantry for a while until we finally got the domain name from a guy in Korea. So I gotcha. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> nice job. 
So uh, Mantry.com, they sign up, you send them information, they can buy a month, they can buy a couple of months, they can do whatever they want. But whatever they're going to get is going to be freaking amazing, right? Exactly. Mantry.com, sign up. You'll have to go on a brief wait list. A wait list? What the, what? Well, what if they say they, they know me? Post. Does that help? Well, we're going to put a new like field of text in the bottom of the sign up where they can do that. We'll ask them a skill test question about you. And if they get it right, <laughs> right. then we'll bump them to the front of the line. Right. <laughs> nice. All right, man. We're th I'm so thrilled for you. I think this is very exciting. Well, thank I, you. I know you're going to have really cool news coming down the road. You started to tell me a little bit the other day, and we'll save that for when it happens, right? Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. We got okay. some cool stuff coming down. Like I said, Christmas will be awesome, and we're hoping it will be awesome. Yeah. Um, but outside of that, every month the themes are cool, and then the products keep coming. So, well, there's not one on my table right now that I don't like. I'm hey, even we, I'm even I surprised have, I like the chocolate, honestly. But I have to ask you before we go, what was your favorite product? Uh, oh, I didn't try the hot sauce. I guess I could do that. Uh, I'm blown away by stews. What, just the smell? You dip your finger in it? No, no, no. I did an upside. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you can't see me right now. So, but I did the upside down with my finger and I tasted it. And uh, it's okay. the pickle juice that's in there that adds a. I mean, yeah. we've all had Bloody Marys that have had a pickle spear in them, and you adore the pickle spear. It's an important part of it. But making Bloody Mary mix with pickle juice in it, come on, that's like one of those. Great ideas you just trip over, and Stu absolutely knows what he's doing. Stu's great. And by the way, last little fact, Stu was actually the very first food maker to agree to give us his product to go in the very first test manager we ever did. Oh. He was? I like the Stu guy already. All right. No, we dig Stu. We dig Stu a lot. like the DQ model, we sometimes like to say. So. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. All right, man. Okay. It's, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, Mantry.com. And look how handsome my uh, nephew is. Come on. How's that? How's my five bad he got all, he got all the looks and the hair yeah. that somehow didn't make it to my part of the family. But sorry, what? You got all the looks and the hair that my side of the family didn't quite get. But whatever. <laughs> You're two good-looking guys with a great product. We love this, and we're going to talk again. All right. Thanks for having us. Thanks, on. you guys. Have a good night. Thanks, guys. Yeah. You bet. Take yeah. it easy. Bye. All right. Really. That's really cool. Okay, he told me the stuff that was was in it. I want some of that chocolate. I'm coming out in a second. Come get it. No, Man you be Lynn. Mantry.com, people. Mantry.com. M-A-N-T-R-Y. Go and buy your boyfriend a gift. Did you guys you know try what? that jerky? Jelly. You know what? This does, I haven't tried that. How was the jerky? <laughs> yeah, how's it? It was jelly. Seriously, <laughs> for a boss, like that's nuts. Oh, it's epic. Yep. Right. Nuts. Who's gonna speaking of nuts? Who's gonna bring those pops? Speaking of ass, look what's going on in my. Nuts. Nuts. So <laughs> how fast Kelly went up there to get some of those. Yeah. <laughs> I love. Hey, we gotta hop in the kitchen. I you're you're all obsessing about the mantry right yeah, now, but okay, so. we got some stuff to do. Oh, he is so far from the kitchen. He's got no, no. so much on the docket tonight. Oh, no, we gotta so get in there. Oh, yeah, that's true. I control this sh shiz. No. Shizzle. <laughs> the shiznit. Okay, everything is so good. Here's the problem. Shotgun, uh, the ketchup. <laughs> you can't, we can't. Okay. You're not in yes, the actual yeah. sight of shotgun. He's my cousin. I can do it. No, it does. Look, you understand <laughs> shotgun rules. You have to be within sight of the item to uh -oh. yell shotgun. Shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> he almost tripped over like a ton of wires. I know. That's okay. He already bumped his head tonight. I got it. Oh, I got it. No, anybody that, that bumps their head immature. as much as you. Pass me those things now. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm ready to go into the kitchen. Just get going. Grab them, jelly. To start something that I don't even know how to make. Uh -uh. Well, you know what? Why don't you talk about one of our fine sponsors really quickly before you do that? Oh. I'll talk about Fixtures Living because I did an event with them a week and a half ago. Because you love them. <laughs> Here's the thing. I want to tell you. All the, oh, God, I can't stop eating these pop nuts. <laughs> the pop nuts? The half pops? Well, oh, half pops. No, there was, a, there was a thing called pop nuts, right? Corn no, nuts. Corn nuts. They kind of taste like corn nuts. Yeah. No, these don't. These are much more sophisticated in their but flavor. They, they taste like that, though. The texture's like that. They're, yeah. crunch, they're that crunchy. I hate the smell of corn nuts. What? <laughs> it's almost the same That's thing. true. No, no. They, they no, do, it's they, not even close, Shannon. 
I used to go to Indian guides with the guy that ate the hell out of corn nuts mm. when you were the corn chief. Corn nuts are disgusting. Hey, oh wait, what? You were roofied and we still haven't talked about it. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was roofied. Shit. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, talk. Continue. Fixtures living. Yes. I want to tell you the stores that they're like this far away from opening, the cities that they're this far away from opening. But you can't. And, I'll, uh, and all I can tell you is this. Mall owners are recruiting them, and this doesn't happen very often, to open stores in locations where you wouldn't normally find what could generally be classified as an appliance store mm -hmm. because they're not an appliance store. They're a, holy shit, this is amazing and I haven't seen anything like this before oh, yeah. kind of store. Kitchen, bath, outdoor, all of that kind of stuff. Things that you might expect to find a huge selection of them that you wouldn't expect to find, but people that really know their stuff, but more than anything, they take care of you in a way that you honestly can't find anywhere else. Fixtures Living dot com online in san diego in costa mesa california in rancho mirage california and soon to be in <laughs> you'll love them you'll love them as i do they're the nicest people ever and it's not fake bs you know how you go someplace people go how's your day going <laughs> supermarket how are you can i help you find anything they don't want to help you find anything they're just saying that because they've been taught to say that Fixtures, they give a shit. Amen. Could that be their slogan? <laughs> <laughs> it all depends on the delivery. Fixtures, we give a shit. All right, I'm ready. You guys ready? We're ready. Let's roll. <sighs> I, I'm not... Sorry? What's you wrong? You look so handsome in your I shirt. I know, thank you. I, you wanted do. To, I wanted to tuck my shirt in. You look very thin. Hey, be easy on that mic, man. Yeah. I wanted to tuck my shirt in, but Kelly doesn't like it when I tuck my shirt in. Well, it wasn't Let's necessary. Here. Here's what I You're think. You're so comfortable. I uh, know. I feel like it's too long. No, no, no. If you tuck your shirt in, man. It's a tunic. You look way too... <laughs> Short? <laughs> no. what? You're basically uh, wearing. Whoa, Lynn. You're, ba you're whoa, basically wearing what Jilly has on. <laughs> you're gonna look much older, <laughs> Sam, for sure. I know. Thank you, Lynn. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Someone thank you. Someone had to say. No, you, you look. You look fine with the with the untucked shirt. I know. God, Lynn. Thank you, God. I can't stand it. <laughs> All right. So look what I got. Uh, I started the onions. It's just onions and garlic in this pot, and you can hear them now because. You, did you need to see me cut onions and garlic? No. I don't, I don't think you did. You've come a long way, honey. I know. If this was a year ago, are you kidding? He would have been like, I need to cut every single onion in front of me. Here in my crisper, we have a <laughs> onion. Here's the thing. I like, the skin. I like, so, Chipino. Chipino is a, is, is, is a gently cooked fish stew. So, to the onions and the garlic that are starting to smell amazing all over again, I'm going to add... Oh, God. I have to be very gentle. I don't want to get... This is a new shirt, actually. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add a jar. Oh, sorry, a can. Would you like an apron? I have an apron, but you know <laughs> I don't like to use them. <laughs> now I'm going to have to try and break these up. Of San Marzano, uh, San Marzano peeled tomatoes. Oh, God. And San Marzano are the good ones, correct? Yes. San Marzano? Oh, I was supposed to put the wine in first. Oh, oh no. Oh, You're ruining crap. everything. <laughs> Everything's ruined. That's okay. I'm just going to dump it in right now. You're the Watch. worst chef ever. How about a cup? <laughs> 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 the wine's in there. Did what? everybody get that? What do you like? That's precision right there, people. <laughs> it's like you ripped off yeah. the top and Well, I really it. needed to get it in here. <laughs> Boom, about a cup. Does that okay. mean the alcohol's not going to burn off? Then? Sorry? You does that mean the alcohol is not going to No, off? the alcohol will do what it's supposed to do. Shannon. <laughs> you are such a professional. I can't even stand okay, it. Okay, you know what's crazy is I, I feel like this is going to turn out. Of course it what is. Do you mean it it's always turn out? Oh, it's fine. Well, you put the wine in like a second too late. What's the problem? Uh, a second too late. I well, mean, it really kind of matters when you put it in, but I really don't want to splash up on my shirt. I'm trying to break these up. I really like the man tree. Honestly, I think the best part about the man tree yeah. is that I... How many people are in that position all the time where you just don't know what to get, what a gift get a for gift, a person? Right? Girls, I'm sure, are always wondering, what do I get my brother, yeah, my no, dad, boyfriend. my boss, my boyfriend? Yeah. And, it, and for 50 bucks, you get all that cool stuff. I know for a fact that any guy who 
is normal is going to love that. Can I tell you something? I'll tell you this. There's a really good lesson in packaging in that, right? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. How cool is that? You want it just so that the person can take it out and put it on the counter and go like this. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. Look how cool that is. Mm -hmm. Dig it. Right? Everything comes in boxes. That thing comes in a crate. Yep. Its own little personal crate. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm feeling really good about where this is going. It's looking good. Yes, do I wish that I had put the wine in first? Yes, and given it a second. But now, I got plenty of time. Here's what I want to do. This now, with, uh, I don't know how much of this to use, and I'm hesitant to use too much of the Bloody Mary mix uh, for two reasons. One, it's a little bottle. Mm -hmm. You don't want to waste two, it. And <laughs> two, it tells you to add only two ounces of this. For a pint. To a pint of tomato juice, and a pint is two cups. So I've got wine. I'm only going to use this much. Hold on, let me just mix it. Oh, it just, looks, that, just that much. It looks, I'm going to show you, watch. We're not going to be able to measure that. I'm going to go, no, when I say this, I mean okay. down to my finger. Oh. Whoa, that seems like... Whoa. Uh, no. Are you serious? Hey, hey. That was yeah, a there, lot. little buddy. Hey. Whoa, man. Look, at, I said I was going down to my... Didn't it say two spoonfuls for a pint? No, it said two... It, no, this drink. much, two ounces. Yeah, oh, Look at this. It's now giving it a nice what a, deep... What a fat waster. Shot. A yeah. nice deep color. I'm not a waster. Yeah, you are. No, I'm going to have a Bloody Mary when everybody leaves. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Because I got fucking roofied this weekend, man. Oh, God. Can you tell can the you? story? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming right now. Let me just do this. Oh, so this now is going to sit for a while, correct? Yes. Here's what I'm going to do. I mean, uh, would it be better with a half an hour? Yes, it might. So I'm going to give this five minutes right here. A good solid five, six minutes. And then uh, I'm going to let it reduce a little bit, let the flavors come together, and then check out what's going into it. Ooh. I have shrimp, I have uh, big boy scallops, and I have uh, mahi-mahi that my friend Joe brought me fresh uh, the other day that I gave a quick freeze to, I told the out. We're gonna cut these up into sort of bite-size-ish pieces, pieces probably cut the scallops a little bit. Wait one second. Shannon. I wish I had somebody come deliver me fresh caught mahi-mahi. Well, no, it's not like I have a um, fish guy come do this. No, I know, it's your friend. It's just a friend that goes fishing and he b catches so much he can only, you know, eat so much. Mm -hmm. This is oolong tea, by the way. Oh, Sam, you know it starts this Friday? What's this Friday? It's lobster season in California. Oh, <gasps> lobster season so starts? Oh. me and my diver friends can get you some fresh lobsters to cook Shannon, with. Shannon, oh, yes. Oh, we would love that. We've been wanting to do lobster tails for, uh, for a while, right? Awesome. We did. If didn't you're do really hip, don't we call them bugs? Yes, they're bugs. bugs. <laughs> they're bugs. Wow, I don't know. You know it. that, Kelly. I'm, I'm impressed. Do you know that because or our brother yeah. Jordan was, was a diver say, for a while? I only knew that because our brother Jordan illegally was poaching those. Bugs. <laughs> Why do we have to talk about that? <laughs> oh God! Now the fish and game organization is going to come after us. I love the idea of this box. I'm sorry. I want my own mantry. I just want the box. Your mom's a mantry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's talk about. What happened this weekend? Because two things happened. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm enjoying the Blue Ox original recipe smoked beef. Oh, from Troy, Michigan. I dig that white chocolate, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it's good, isn't it? It's it's different. I mean, there's something going on there, and it must, is it just the buttermilk or? I think so. It's the tang of the butter. Yeah. It's not like different, like it's bad. It's just it's really unique. It's kind of nice. And I'm so stupid, I didn't realize it was buttermilk, but I did identify that it was something sort of citrusy. Citrusy. Yeah. Hmm. This blue ox jerky says, "Our jerky punches gas station jerky in the face." <laughs> <laughs> I like it. All right. Focus, Sam. That's, That's like so all those years. Focus on How the How about roofing. all those years that we would drive up to Mammoth? And do you remember there was always the sign? Um, somewhere yeah. know, near yeah, Bakersfield. It's like, it's, it's like 600 miles. No, it says fresh jerky. And we'd always go, ooh. Fresh jerky. Do I don't want, want fresh jerky. Fresh or do you want I it? want old, dehydrated, <laughs> shitty old fresh is like, jerky. Ooh. Jerky. This this guy was walking around last yesterday. That was right. the bishop. And wait a minute. Don't bishop, you remember yeah. we would stop and we would go in his place? Don't you yeah. remember? It was like a shed. It was oh, the grossest yeah. place It was in disgusting. But it was, uh, I remember... We would go nuts. We'd get big bags of this jerky. This is on like a 
eight hour road trip from San Diego to Northern California to Mammoth. Everybody Mountain. understands that jerky is just dried beef. Yeah, but yeah. it depends. But the on idea fresh. of fresh jerky uh, yeah. <laughs> sounds like the animal is still bleeding in the package. Yeah. Yes. Oh, God. All right. So Friday night, I went to the Ronnie Mund block party. <laughs> and if you're a fan of the Howard Stern show, you know that Ronnie Mund is his security guy and his limo driver. And about a year ago, oh my God, that smells so good. Yeah, it does. Keep wow. talking, darling. Keep I can't, talking. No, I just got to do this. Oh! <laughs> what? Well, Burning just, the chippy now. There was a lot of there was a lot of action going on in there. Oh. Over there. Hold on. No, no, no. Stay there. He did? Fine. <laughs> so about a year ago, they started this Ronnie Munn block party where they would, where three or four of the guys from the show would go to different cities mm -hmm. and they would, um, it was like a comedy thing. They'd have comedians and, and the people that you knew from the Howard Stern show would come out and introduce the comedians and then blah, blah, blah. Anyway, it just built into this huge thing. And they announced the San Diego show three, four months ago. And I bought a ticket like that day. The day I heard it, whatever day that was, I bought a ticket. And I bought a ticket for myself because I know Kelly is generally not amused by the Howard Stern show, very hmm. much of what goes on there. And every so often she enjoys his interviewing skills and stuff because he's a great interviewer, but she wasn't really. And I honestly, I didn't even think to say, hey, baby, do you want to come to the show with me? Never even crossed my mind. Would you have come? I would have come to support you, and trust me, in the back of my mind, I was thinking, why didn't you even ask me if I wanted to Because it was, a, it was, it's like a guy thing. There were some girls there, but I didn't. Anyway. Barely. Trust me. So I wasn't pushing it because, yes, I would not want to go. Okay. So that's why I didn't invite you. <laughs> By the way, you're not invited to the um, Playboy Mansion when I go there next weekend. Yeah, that's so dumb. And you know what? Wait a minute. Oh, there's no. You make I it sound like I'm actually going to the Playboy Mansion. No, 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 you're not. <laughs> I think that might have been, honestly, for the first time since I can even remember it, the first time where we actually had a plan that one of us was doing separate of the other. It was so weird to me, but I didn't want to go. Right. <laughs> like, we never, ever, ever do anything separate. Yeah, I know. Like Shannon, bizarre. can you grab the camera? I'm, I'm, uh, this is smelling so good that I think I'm ready to go put some stuff in. Yeah, really? It smells yeah, really yeah. good. It smells crazy good. So let's just do this. So anyway, so here I am. It's Friday night. We're go I'm going to the Ronnie Munn block party. And I know that I'm going to drink. And I know I, I'm not going to drive. So I say to myself, come look at this, Shannon. But when he says he knows he's going to drink and not drive, you guys, everybody, that means if he has two drinks, he's not going to get in the car. Yeah. This we is, are huge proponents. No, it doesn't mean he's like getting wasted. Not, right. <laughs> drinking and driving. So yeah, this is we not, don't go anywhere. This is not that I'm getting wasted. Okay. I just want to cut the mahi mahi down a little bit because it's. So are you going to make it in chunks? I'm going to make it into sort of bite size ish pieces. Okay. Because you wouldn't want to put it in like. I yeah. Mean, you know, you want to, you know, when you serve something in a like this you want to make it so people can eat it not so that people have to struggle with it you know basically mm -hmm. yes he's cutting it into chunks I guess that would be a yes okay <laughs> but you know max he will never ever ever okay just so go thank young. you for that simplification yeah the scallops are gonna go in dude it smells amazing back the, here it really doesn't does. it smell amazing sometimes the, the smells just carry all the, the way shrimp are gonna the go in oh you left tails on those yeah, I'm leaving them with uh, with the. Uh, Are they de shell? Shell on, of course. shell on, oh, de vein. Shell on. Why? Shell on, de vein. Why? Because yeah. I like that. But Do that you means when me? you bite it out of. No, it means you got to feel. It's a presentation thing. Okay, all you little pussies can just shut up. <laughs> Get your own live cast. It's all, all right. About while me you're right doing now. that, I'm going to carry on. So we have a cocktail here. Sam calls a taxi. Like 7:45, the cab right. comes at 8 o'clock to pick him up, and I'm like standing on the driver going, "Bye, honey." Have a good time. As he's heading to downtown San Diego. Right. <laughs> That's the next thing I know. So I get a thing. So, so the show the, the show starts at eight thirty. I get in a cab at uh, I don't know, like ten to eight or five to eight or something like that, and down I go. I'm down there like quarter after twenty five after. I get in, I get out of the cab. There's a couple guys right there. Sam, come stand here. I cut the line by half. Thank you, boys. I appreciate that. 
We stand there. We hang out for maybe 20 minutes. They open up the doors. We all go in. The guys that I'm standing with, I say, let me buy you a drink. I appreciate you letting me crash with you. I'll buy you guys a drink. I buy them a drink. We go sit down, and I'm fine. And uh, I walk up to the middle about 10 minutes later. It hasn't started yet because I want to turn around and take a picture of what's going on there. And a bunch of people come up and want to do Sam the Cooking Guy pictures. I'm totally, totally good with that. You know, <laughs> you know, I'll never say no, right? I feel like that's the stuff that has to happen. If that's not happening, then people aren't buying books and whatever. Sam, you got sauce on your Oh no, does he? And so you know on what? what? On your hand. Look at your hand. Hand, hand, hand. Remember oh. you said Thank that you, when we <laughs> quickly wrap up with the story uh, about last night. Okay. How so you never stop for pictures. Right. So uh, it's all good. About 10 minutes after that, just before, just as the show's starting, a guy behind me that I've been chatting with goes, dude, can I buy you a drink? <laughs> I'm like, sure. <laughs> Oh, God. So he goes, he buys me a drink. Did and you I walk with it, him or did he go and come back? I did not walk with him. Oh. That's funny. Aaron said the same thing. When I told Aaron this story, she goes, did the bartenders hand you the drinks? And I go, no, they didn't. Here's the thing. Only one. Here's what thing. You're a public figure. So let's say that this guy, that there was, let's say that this guy was a roofier and he's going around, he's got like three roofies for the night and he's like, I got three, I'm going to roofie three but people tonight. He's not going to waste one on just a random person. But no, but here's he the thing. Sam the cooking guy and he's like, I'm going to get I know, Sam. but here's the thing and pardon my crassness, my crassness, uh -huh. don't you roofie somebody that you want to fuck? Not that you want to fuck with. Isn't that the point of it, I thought? Oh. Kelly's mad. I'm sorry, no, but I thought that's what it was. So I thought it was a date rape drug. Right, okay. I might actually have to leave the room for a minute. <laughs> okay, but it's you not, know what I think? But oh my am I, I not think, right? Yeah, I think you're right. But I also, I, I think in this case, I'm guessing that this guy was like, yeah, I probably want to do that later because I'm some type of awful, terrible douchebag. But the story of having said that I roofied Sam the cooking guy is too good to pass up. I agree. That's probably what it was. I mean... Okay, so I have that drink. <laughs> and then my recollection starts to get a little fuzzy. Uh -huh. I remember that some guy goes, dude, come hang. We're upstairs or whatever. Oh. And I'm there... Yeah. And then there's a beer in my hand <laughs> that I did not buy. Oh, no. But it's been a drink here, two drinks there, and a beer. That's it. Look, I'm a big boy, and I know how to drink. Mm -hmm. And I know how much I can handle. We've seen it. You've seen it, right? <laughs> Live. Live. <laughs> At that point, everything starts to go gray on me. The last thing I remember, and this is the part that I said that anybody I told this story to said, dude, you were roofied says that's when it that's why you know this the last thing i remember is walking out front to leave i left before the show ended cuz i knew something was going so wrong with me really i had to get out of there oh, wow. i had to leave max when i tell you that i knew it was going downhill so wait mom did you look at him and were you like what's wrong oh, wait, with you hold on i don't remember getting into a cab I have a tiny recollection. With mom, right? You were with mom. Mom wasn't no. even there. It was just me by myself. Remember I stayed home. Which, by the yes. way, now oh. I'm not allowed to go out alone anymore. Oh, my oh. God. I have a recollection of saying to a cab driver, never remembering how I got into the cab, I can't tell you where I live. Oh, my God. Just go north on five. <laughs> so I ended up here. Well, I'll yeah. let mom take the story from there. Story. Well, I'm going to go back and check the, the fish. I'll go quickly. So basically, it's like 10 to 10. And I'm upstairs. House is bolted, locked, alarm is on. And the front door starts like shaking. It's trying to get in. <laughs> and I'm like, what the hell? I'm like half asleep. And I get to the top of the stairs. And I look down. And I see Sam. We have these side windows. And I see him like looking in. And I'm like, what is he doing home? I go running downstairs. I like open the door. And he goes flying past me like a bat out of hell. I gotta go pee. So he goes rushing past me downstairs <laughs> to the bathroom. And I'm like, 
okay, he's home. Must have been a bad show. So I go upstairs. Well, I climb back into bed, and I'm watching the news. And like five minutes later, he comes out. And again, he comes busting in the bedroom. And he <laughs> rips open his pants, and he takes like 10 steps. And the whole way, he's like ripping his pants off. And all of a sudden, he <laughs> flops on the bed. And I'm looking at him, I'm thinking, he's like sideways. And I'm like, what is with you? Oh my God. And I look. I'm actually, I can't even believe I'm going to say this. His pants are on his ankles. <laughs> They're not even off. They're like at his ankles. And he is sideways on the bed. And I'm not thinking anything at this point except I am pissed. Oh, I'm yeah. thinking he went out alone. He got wasted, which I never see. The last time you were drunk was when Woody was here. Hmm. So yeah. I am just totally irritated. Now he's taken up my side of the bed. I'm like trying to shake him. And he is like out cold. Oh, no. So I still don't really think anything of it. I try and move him. I turn off the TV. I'm like tucked into like the upper third of the bed because I can't get further away from him if I tried. He's hiccuping. He's burping. <laughs> <laughs> he's making more noises. God, do you have to tell the whole thing? <laughs> yes. Oh, I know. I'm sorry. I actually wait, got... Wait, why didn't you get wait, a recording wait, wait. of this? Oh, my God. I actually Video. got... Wait, wait, wait. I got out of bed. I took the pants off his ankles. Of course, I snapped a picture ahead of time just so I could prove it to him. Yeah. And then I laid in bed and I thought, oh, my God. does it was he, He's so drunk. Does he have his ID? So now I'm out of bed again. I'm like rifling through his jeans. And I'm so happy to see his license and his credit card and a little bit of cash. And I'm thinking, OK, so at least he came home with that. I tuck back into bed. Now I'm thinking his phone. So I go back up. I'm looking for his phone, and I don't see it anywhere. Oh, no. So now I'm bummed. I come downstairs. I have a quick look, and I don't see it. Fall asleep. I wake up at like 6 o'clock, and I'm like laying in bed staring at him like, who are you? And all of a sudden, I get like one eye cracked. And he looks at me, and he goes, what happened last night? And I'm like, you tell wow. me. I go, you were wasted. You came home. You were really mean. You passed out on my <laughs> side of the bed. <laughs> He's like, honey. And by the way, I'm not, look, I'm not mean. Am I mean? No. No. Yeah. I'm not a mean so guy. So he says to me, so that was honey. I think something happened last night. <laughs> so I'm like, what are you talking about? He goes, no, I had two drinks, and all of a sudden I felt really weird. And I, I, call, I said oh I need a taxi, God. and I got in the cab, and things got worse and worse. He goes, I think I was roofied. <laughs> and this is what, you know, this Holy is when we start, you know, she goes, well, w w you know, where did you get your drinks? And that whole thing started to happen, and. Holy Sam, shit. That's scary. It was really, really scary. Wow. wow. Yeah. That I is was, so I've nuts. never, I've, look, I've never been like that before. Come on over here, Shen. Okay. As pissed as I was. What's the verdict? The really verdict scary. has to be that somebody just took the opportunity to get Sam the cooking but guy and got again, it. Once again, I won't say it quite so um, um, detailed, but I thought the point of roofing somebody was that you would. <laughs> There you go. See? I didn't say it. Right. You know, this could be a very I, distinct possibility. You could have just gotten someone else's drink on accident. That's what I no. mean. It, it's no, such no. a the, different my drinks connotation. Were handed, when my you... drinks were handed to me from people that that presumably were buying them for me. Oh, That's... okay. And you know what? That's what pretty girls say when guys come up to them in bars and want to buy them drinks. Well, he was paying attention to me and he was really cute. I don't have a good bowl to put Jeez, this. Jeez, maybe. This. Oh, man. I don't know. It's a crazy thing. It's Wait, so, kind of a crazy so thing. Maybe you can't accept drinks anymore. Needless to say, we're never going out alone anymore. No, that's not true. Oh, yeah. And Crystal, so, Crystal uh, Tranquil wants to know what happened to your phone. It turned up? Oh, oh, great. So we're there, right? So we wake up in the morning and Kelly's telling me and blah, blah, blah. My phone is gone. She can't find it. We look everywhere and it's nowhere. And I'm like resigned myself to the fact that what I'm going to have to do is call uh, AT&T, cancel my phone, until I either find it or till I buy a new one because you can't have somebody out there using your phone. Mm -hmm. Even though I have a password protected thing, whatever, you feel like you got to do that. So like an hour later, Kelly goes, wait a second. Doesn't the iPhone have a find my phone feature? Mm -hmm. I go, oh my God, they do. I'm so smart I thought of that. <laughs> so you go on 
you log into your iCloud, you go to find my phone, you click the button, and all of a sudden a map shows up Give showing you the area where your phone is. Mm -hmm. My phone was right here. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it was what? In the house. Right here. And what is not, which is better than the fact that it's right here on the map, you can push a button and have it make a tone. Call. Yeah. Oh, cool. A mm -hmm. <laughs> it was in the bathroom that I ran into because I had the pee so bad. Oh, you've Way, like, in the you've never seen it. Obviously, <laughs> when I pulled my pants down <laughs> to take a lazy pee, it we fell out of my pocket and slipped underneath the cabinet. Was we were jumping oh, wow. for joy. We were so happy. <laughs> oh, my God. Toilet. Why sit when you can mad. stand? What? Or why stand when you can sit? Why stand when you can sit? <laughs> Women have it right. It's pointless to sit. <laughs> All right. Are we uh, ready with this dish now? We're ready. We, yeah, we didn't cover the... You know what? I can't do it now. There's Tease a couple it. things I didn't cover. We didn't cover the the getting rolled last, at, uh, last <laughs> night. Yeah, we didn't. And, and somebody requested... Something from me, and I said I'd put it to a vote tonight, and we'll save that oh, for man, Wednesday Oh, man, and we night. still need to recap last Wednesday's oh, competition. Oh, we didn't recap last Wednesday's it's competition. It's okay. We'll be there on... Uh, yeah. We're going to have to do it. It's just it's not time now. Mm -hmm. I wish I had, like, a big serving spoon thing. We do. We do? There you go. You have it. This is not... I want something <laughs> nicer than this. Ladle. Okay, so check this out. Look what we've done here. What have we done here? I have no idea. Oh, what have we done? That's wow! Nice. Look at this. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh. It's really hot! Ow! 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 This is way bigger than I need. That's a jelly meal. Will you eat that? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, Max already said jelly would love this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So shrimp, scallops, with mahi mahi in here. Look how beautiful this is, right? Oh my God! I'm sorry. Heather, <laughs> Heather Walker just wrote, someone from SDSU roofied Sam. <laughs> oh, oh my God. No, <laughs> we were supposed to. That is so funny. That's, pr that's not funny. Oh, it's pretty funny because there's been a bunch of controversy over this, over that's the competition of hilarious. last week. Yeah. If you missed it, go check out the episode, by the way. It's uh, get you prepared for this upcoming and week. And so here's my topping is this, is some... Is a bunch of parsley. Nice. And for a little bite, some green onion. Yep. Nice. Like, tell me that doesn't look freaking awesome. But you haven't tasted this yet. I haven't. So let's. I've never tasted it. I can't. I don't want to mess up your picture, Lynn. I'm going to taste right here. Just watch this. Dude, I'll, I'll figure it out, man. No. I'll, dude. I'll allow it. It's okay. I got it right here. Look, I'll just go from a shitty little bowl. I'll let the big bowl. <laughs> the big beauty bowl. The big beauty bowl. So, look. Some of this, some of the green onion. I don't know that the green onion is traditional in this whole thing, but look at this big, beautiful little piece of mahi mahi right here. Mm. I would have put cilantro. Why? You know what? Leave me alone. Oh, with way the to shoes. shit on his on his red. <laughs> hey, somebody's gotta <laughs> call a spade a spade. Holy crap! Good. Oh my god, so good. And this stews, the flavor of this little like stew sauce. Oh, stew. Stew. Get it? S T E. Stew stew. Mm. I like it. We can see Shannon in the reflection in the stew, window stew. now yeah, that it's you dark. Can. Wow. <laughs> and you know what? Maybe I should have peeled these shrimp. Shit. I didn't really think <laughs> oh, about you're that. Oh, genius. But watch. You just ate the shell? Mm. Oh, oh, damn. No. Yuck. That is, you know what? Okay. It, Yuck. I shot a show in Las Vegas and I was doing a shrimp <laughs> thing. Shrimp in their shell, cooking them. And then you would peel them. And it, it was a convention, and there was a group of Asian men that came by. Yeah, Asians. That said, yeah, that's right, your people, you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, they said, I said, do you want to try these? And they said, sure. And they took them. They didn't even think about it. They picked them up, held onto the tail, kunk, and ate the shell all the way down. And I thought, that's crazy shit. I've got to try that. And I did it. And you know what? It is not crazy. It's good. Mm -hmm. You get the beautiful shrimp flavor and the light texture of the shell. You think you can't do it, but you can do it. Wow. All right. All right. Look at that scallop. We're going to wow. end with this. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. Wednesday night, the last uh, Sam Livecast preliminary uh, competition. Till the final four. Till the final four. Final four. Can I say mm -hmm. one last thing? Yep. Hurry. I'm super excited, but a little sad. Look at it. It's dark outside. It's fall. <laughs> it's autumn. Let the, wa let the weather change, please. Yeah. please. This is really good. See you guys Wednesday. 
Thanks for being here. Bye.